While police spent decades hunting for the East Area rapist, George Warren spent years reporting on these attacks and the search to find him. George, we know that this really changed the face of Sacramento. As, as you know, bars went up on windows. People would sleep with guns under their pillows. Um, did you ever think this day would come? No. In fact, I asked a question uh, during the news conference. Uh, a lot of us thought that he, uh, the Golden State Killer, the East Area Rapist, would never be caught because he's dead or locked up for something else. His last homicide, remember, was a murder in Irvine in 1986. He would have been about 39 or 40, which is still relatively young. Serial killers, as we're often told, don't quit until they're caught or killed. So, uh, yes, we're very happy. As a longtime Sacramento resident, I can tell you I'm very happy and very proud of law enforcement here and, and their uh, dedication. I just talked to Anne Marie Schubert, the district attorney from Sacramento County, and I asked her, for people that weren't around in the mid to late 70s, what was Sacramento like? Uh, she was 12 years old when the series, the two year series of rapes started in Sacramento, the East Area Rapist. And she said, let me tell you what it was like in Sacramento before that happened, 1976. Uh, you, you'd stay out with your friends. Your mom would say, come home. Uh, when the street lights come on, there were no cell phones. There were no worries. After 1976 and the East Area rapists, rapists started tearing through Sacramento County, everybody was afraid. He was so brazen, he would break into homes prior, days or weeks prior to attacking and sexually assaulting the woman inside. He would call and taunt them. He enjoyed the danger and the risk, obviously. And so for two years, he terrorized this community. Uh, Anne Marie's mother slept with an ice pick under her pillow. She didn't know that till years later. So obviously, it was when Sacramento went from being this kind of innocent place to suddenly a dangerous place. Yeah, no doubt. We know you'll have more from Anne Marie Schubert tonight at 10 o'clock. George, appreciate your reporting tonight uh, and your expertise as someone who's been around uh, covering this for a while. We'll talk to you again at 10 with Anne Marie Schubert as she talks about this being a very personal case for her.